Hi, welcome to Cloud Dolls. October is coming, and of course, also Dia del Muertos in Spanish. The Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday associated with the Catholic celebrations of All Saints Day. In the 1st and 2nd of November, the holidays involved family and friends gathering to pray for and to remember friends and family members who have died. It's commonly portrayed as a day of celebration rather than mourning. And here I am to give my contribution to this day. For that, of course, I have to choose Skeleta from Monster High. As usual, I will cut the hair really short and with my heat gun, I will take the head off and I will scratch the hair inside with my screwdriver. And with my tweezers, I will take the rest of the hair out from inside of the neck hole. With 100% acetone, I take the factory paint out until you get a clean face. I'm gonna use this dark green hair. For that, I'm gonna paint her sculpt with the same color and I'm gonna start to building the hair with hot glue. By the way, I'm using a synthetic hair. It's already come prepared and is ready to glue on the head. I will start from the bottom until my way up. Give a little bit of extra attention to the hairlines. That's how she looks after it's finished. I'm gonna use this color pattern. First I'm gonna start with the top. I'm gonna use this leather gold color. And it's really simple to do. It's a mold that I use and then I cut in her body. And then I sew it by hand. And I will finish him with this embroidery. I'm gonna glue it directly with fabric uh, glue to the top. And for the sleeve, I'm gonna use this embroidery that I will attach in the back side. I'm gonna make her a long skirt. I'm gonna use also the texty glue because I don't want to see any stitches from the outside. And I will let it dry. With the same embroidery, I apply in the inside of the skirt so that I can cover the edges. And in the other side, I'll make the finish with this embroidery lace with the same colors and gold wired. And then I close the skirt with a snap button. For the sleeve in her head, I'm gonna use this turquoise organza and the embroidery tool. One on top of the other one, I'm gonna embellish it with some beads and glitters in turquoise color and gold color. 
I love to do this kind of work. Give me a lot of peace. I know it's a, you need a lot of patience to do it, but when I'm doing it, uh, I found my peace. I found my place. I think this kind of embroidery gives another level to the clothes and to the doll. I'll give her some gloves with the same gold letter. By the way, it's a fake letter. And then I'll paint her hands with the same color of gold. For the crown, I found this amazing necklace in the second hand shop. And I'm gonna construct it, the headpiece, with some gold wired and some acryl UV uh, lamp. In my 3D printer, I print this sculpt in different sizes and I spray them with my chrome gold color. And now I'm gonna attach it also in the crown with acryl under the UV lamp. I leave it for 90 seconds to make sure that it's really cured. With some turquoise satin lace, I make some roses to embellishment the crown. And I'm gonna use these earrings that I buy in my local shop to finish it. To attach the satin roses, I will use the hot glue. And I'm also gonna glue some brilliance in the eyes of the sculpt. With this gold piece from a Christmas ball and with a big turquoise rose and a bigger sculpt, I'm gonna make the hand piece for her. And I decorate it with some flowers in the eyes and some stones in the head. For the shoes, I borrowed these ones from Cat Noir. Then I'm gonna paint it with my turquoise acryl color. I will give it some touches of gold. I attach little sculpt in the front of the shoe with UV lamp acryl and now I'm gonna attach it these little feathers to give her the final touches for the body I give it two layers of miso super clear let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes and I'm gonna use my gold powder to her body with a makeup sponge With my pastels, I'm gonna start to give it some shadows with dark brown and some blacks. For me, Skeleta is my favorite one. All the details in her body is an amazing doll for me. I saw one with uh, 28 inches. Oh God, I fall in love. One day I'm gonna have it. I give her a spray of Mrs. Super Clear to seal my work and now I'm gonna sign it. It's time for the face. After three layers of Mrs. Super Clear, letting dry for 30 minutes. And don't forget to use your mask, please, because it's very toxic. I start sketching the pictures, the eyes, 
and her makeup with some light colors because if we made a mistake it's easier to erase it than if you use a dark one I'm using watercolor pencils and soft pastels and acrylic paint I'm start giving her the white skin of her face it's one of the main characteristic of the makeup of uh, Dia del Mortos I use a wet brush to give it more opacity and now we start giving her some shadows and using some darker colors I'm using mainly the blue ones and turquoise In between, I'm giving her some layers of Mr. Super Clear to build more color and opacity to the shadows of the eyes to get the effect that I desire for her. When we talk about layers, we mean that we spray the face with Mr. Super Clear. That's what we mean with layers. That is a layer for us. And with some soft pastels, I start giving some shades also. With my acrylic paint and a wet brush, I use nail brushes. They're really thin and tiny and they're perfect for doll customization. I give her more opacity to the sclera and highlights to the eyes. Now it's glitter time! I love glitters. I'm using tacky glue and turquoise glitters, white glitters, gold glitters. I think she looks amazing. I'm gonna glossy her eyes with varnish gloss. I give her three layers, very dry between the layers. I made the socks that I finish with a small lace turquoise with a bead. I also attached a rose and a scallop 
and the gloves. I had to glue them because our arms are really thin and it was really difficult for me. And I make these small panties for her to cover the under world of her. And with this gold chain, I give her a bracelet. I also embroidery the top. And I'm gonna attach the crown with some pins to leave it on places and also the sleeve in her head. So if you want to take it off, you can take it off. And that's how she's turning. That's the back side. I have to attach the sleeve. I'm gonna call her. Rosita, the little rose. I'm gonna use some human eyelashes for her. And with a lot of patience, I'll try to put them in place because it's difficult. Rosita is ready. Don't forget to put your like in my videos and subscribe it please it's very important for my channel to help me to grow up and i hope you have fun and i see you in my next video bye love you guys